Good evening, users! It's nice to be back. <laughs> okay, I'm not actually diving into the homebrew channel tonight. But whenever I stream a Wii game, I kind of, I kind of have, I kind of have to click over to that because the, because the Hopper Channel theme is such a bop. <laughs> also, uh, apologies in advance. The cursor is probably going to be a little jittery. I'm not sure. So I'm not sure how much of it is the fact that I'm so close to the center bar, or if it's just that this like aftermarket's wire, quote unquote wireless center bar I'm using has issues. I'm not sure, but either way, it, sh it should be good enough to play. <laughs> yeah, you know, pretty sure. And I'm not gonna linger on that title screen because I think that might be a licensed song. Well, good day there. I'm doing all light. Pride and joy with the Pelago Commonwealth. It's like, oh, what pride flag is that? What do you mean that's not a pride flag? <laughs> Take your information. So let's start with your name and gender. Let's see here. I am. Um... Like, I, I wonder what the character limit is. Because. Nope. Okay. Bro. Bah. Dang it. Okay, robot. There we go. <laughs> Oh boy, that's a splendid name, that is. I'm sure we got your picture right, so let me ask a few more questions. It's very hot down here. What kind of time were you hoping for? Uh... Like, okay, what do the other options look like? <laughs> like, okay, we'll just go with that. It's the, it's the closest to my... I don't so... style choices um neither of them really match my avatar but let's just go with that one and unfortunately pink hair isn't an option for this for this game <laughs> Rookie, i may have to give that one a go myself hey oh sorry mate this one tends to ramble a touch right so we're all square then again i cannot do accents for the life of me i don't know why i'm trying Immigration procedure. But no lie offers many of the South Pacific's greatest diving locations. Take your time and explore to your heart's content. Just know you're just you're gonna love Manoa Lai. Have a have a great time, mate. It's like alright, uh Yep, there's our save file. <laughs> Just realized I should have made the name a gay robot, but also I don't think I well, I don't think it's pr probably not worth it to go back and redo character creation just for that. Into <laughs> <laughs> no life, island abounds with unspoiled beauty and natural resources. <laughs> oh, a bunny! Hey, random aliens! Nice to see you. Hope you're, hope you're doing well tonight. I want to pet the bunny. Um, let's see here. Aww! Face on, you took the bunny out of reach! <laughs> test, test. Hello, can you hear me? I'm, I'm your partner. Name's Cap. Cap. Catherine Sunday, but you can call me Cat. <laughs> oh. <Aww. Yeah. Okay. laughs> 
<laughs> Good bunny. <laughs> yeah, to help you and give you advice and help and help and whatever you need. Manola is an awesome place and there's some slur. Okay, I, I, I'll pet the black mage too. Who's a good black mage? You're a good black mage. Yes, you are. <laughs> Bingo, looking good. Okay. Basic control stuff. If if anyone's wondering, this is play with the uh, Wii Remote on the Wii Remote only. <laughs> nice. Do you turn around a lot because you're a pro? You know. You know. I'm just. I'm, I'm just getting practice. <laughs> Get ready for the next step. Let's try swimming. You're gonna need to kick your fins. Go. Let me remind you where the V button is. It's like. Since uh, it's been a while since I've last played a Wii game, and like like I think the last Wii game I played was uh... gosh, like Fragile Dreams, like like in that stream was like oh gosh, was it like two years ago at this point? I don't remember for sure. <laughs> Aww, playing Karma. <laughs> Lagoon, small salt water lake located on the west side of Manoa Lai Island. Good pl little place for viewing tropical fish. Okay, so. Well, you're just in an area. It's like. Like, okay, okay, I, 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 I see all the fish. Can I pet the fish? Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like we're just going through the control tutorial, but that's neat. <laughs> Specifically, associate this game with recovering from from surgery on your feet when you were younger. Like, okay, okay, let's let's go back to the boat. <laughs> Needs more shark belly rubs. Indeed. <laughs> it's like I know, it's like I don't I, don't know, I have a, some games I associate with a couple of things. I don't have like a surgery recovery game. <laughs> I do, I, I do have, I do have a trapped in the desert waiting for rescue game though, and that's a DS version of Dragon Quest IV. Oh, there's a, there's a story behind that one. <laughs> like already, huh? Did you have fun down there? Gets kind of lonely out here, so it's nice to have company. So yeah, my job is basically to protect the ocean and all its creatures. That's where you come in. Can't do my job without a top diver. What do you do? That's the easy part. Mostly you just hang out and dive when you feel like it. Awesome. <laughs> hey, Ari. Hope y'all are doing well tonight. <laughs> Though we get specific requests from the Marianas Foundation. Sometimes they provide our funding, so you should probably oblige them, but you don't have to. I know, pretty laid back, huh? It's like, I hope so. That's kind of why I'm playing this game tonight. <laughs> I could go crazy if I had to work in an office. Oh, mood. <laughs> oh, sounds like we have new mail. Hey, why don't you go in the cab cabin and check the email? We have like a computer in there because we haven't invented good smartphones yet. <laughs> I 
This is our this is our cabin. It's full of gear, maps, and all that jazz. It's basically our nerve center. You'll need all this stuff eventually, but right now you can only use them use the use the mobile device, dive vlog, and clock. Don't worry, the other stuff will be available soon. You mail events, time, and save. So. Good day. My name is Alfred Thorman, and I'm the head of the Pelago branch of the Marianas Foundation. As you probably know, we're your chief financial backer. You are familiar with the Coral Forest, yes? Well, we'd like to for you to for a brief topographical inspection there. They dive to the Coral Forest and wait for instructions from Catherine. There's no hurry on this. Please take some time to familiarize yourself with the Manoa Lai Sea before you go. Okay. Also, I see Thorman as a last thing, and it's like, and it's like, and it's like, oh, uh, it's like, okay, you're, you're not, um, the pres, the, you're not like the American president from the first Shin Megami Tensei game, are you? <laughs> no? Good. That was probably a different first name anyway, and I haven't actually played that. <laughs> It's like, I don't know why I did that particular voice, I just did for some reason. <laughs> the Coral Forest is just west of here. Here's the map to help you complete topographical surveys. Yay. Um, there's the one button I, again again it's been a while since i've had the whole Wii, Wii remote we'll say it's gorgeous what you know I, i've never been there why not oh you know i'm pretty busy and i have stuff to do and i um i, I can't swim ma'am you're 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 on this boat in the middle of the ocean is it safe for you to be here like like i'm just a little bit concerned is all Look, it's just one of those things. I don't really want to talk about that. That stuff, definitely not backstory here that you're gonna find out over the course of the game or anything. <laughs> like, oh, you can just sit down and like look around at the ocean. It's like. <laughs> It's like okay, that was not that was not that was not at all necessary, but I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go back into the heckin' ocean, shall we? Fish, they're kind of my specialty, so let me help you out. I can be your fish whisperer. Sorry, lame joke. I mean, fish take center stage in the ocean. It's kind of where they live and all that, so let me teach you how to examine a fish. Hmm, focus on an animal now. This is good. To automatically follow the animal focus. Next, you should view inf info on the critter. Once you become more familiar with this animal, you'll learn more about it. Yeah, we don't know much about this client, but that's where you come in. Become more familiar with an animal, you'll you'll learn more about it. We have special permission to work with the animals. It's a pretty big honor, so, so treat them well. Try interacting with a fish. Can interact with creatures while they're in junk. Focus, use the Wii Remote to gently touch or pet them. Heck yeah! This is why I'm here! This is the good stuff! <laughs> oh, look, it likes you! You're natural. In addition to... 
Directly interacting. You can also get food to get their attention. If you're, if you're kind and gentle to underwater creatures, you can become familiar with them. <laughs> it's like... It's like, okay, this, this seems like exactly the kind of cozy game I'm looking for tonight. <laughs> and see that you know your way around. What? How did I know? I, I put a small video camera on your tank that lets me see anything. It's just for your safety, silly. Not gonna follow you around or anything. I mean, that's literally what you're doing, but, 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 you know, you're my boss and, um, this is, this is, seems like a legitimate safety thing, so fine, whatever. <laughs> I mean, the coral forest is west of here. So, over to the west there. Like, wait, let me look at one of these fish. No, it's butterfly fish. She was have never elliptical bodies with extremely long mouths, though mostly yellow. They support a thick black pen around the head and mouth. They can be seen year round. Okay. Okay, so I can feed them. That's useful. Also, I need to pet them. Who's a good long nosed butterfly fish? Who's a good long nosed butterfly fish? You are, yes, you are. <laughs> Okay, but I, okay, but I genuinely love that petting is an actual mechanic in this game. Like, not only can you get can you pet the fish, but you get something, but you but you but you unlock fish lore for it. <laughs> Like, oh, I, kn I know what they are now that I pet them. It's like, let me feed them too. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, yeah, so, so I've seen I've seen like plenty of indie games that have that have like a that have like a but that have like a pet button. I guess also things like a boy and his blob for Wii, and it's like it's like that it's like that that's good, but 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 it's like even better is a game that rewards you for petting things. Also, I know there are a handful, a handful of like virtual pet games that, where, where like, where like, where, you, where like, where you pet the creature is important, <laughs> and it's, and it's like that, it's like that is also very good. Like, give me petting as a game mechanic that actually does something. Give me, give me games that let you pet things. Give me games where, where, where it's useful to pet things that uh, where it's actively encouraged instead of sure, I guess. <laughs> and give me games where there's like some depth to, to, to the whole mechanic of petting a thing. <laughs> Real forest, it's, it's just like the name says, the coral grows here like a majestic underwater forest. Huh? Oh, it's a dolphin! I have immersive petting sim. <laughs> it's like... 
It's like, I, I actually have, have some VR games that I should... I should do another VR stream because it's also been a long time since I've done one of those. <laughs> I have some VR games about cute animals that you can pet. I, I need to do that stream at some point. Oh, a dolphin must have been separated from his pod or else he was playing a prank on us. I've never had a dolphin make fun of me before. That was great. Oh, we're done researching the terrain. I've got all the data I need. You can just stop at your leisure now. Just come back when you get tired. It's like, okay, I can, but I can, but also I want to, also I want to explore and pet things. There's a thing. Good food, good fish. <laughs> Oh, I just realized I have a limited amount of food too. So, too, so I, so I, so I, I have to be care. I have to be careful with how I use that. <laughs> immersive because you're underwater. Yes, yes, I am immersed in water. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm in a diving suit. It doesn't void my warranty that way. Food? No, okay. High color parrotfish. These fish have narrow, spindle shaped bodies with round heads. They're mostly blue with hints of peach on the edge of their fins. They can be seen year round. Aww. It's like we're learning things about fish. Also, I am petting the fish! blue tanks have narrow elliptical bodies. One of the most stri striking fish in Manoa lie there. Identified by their bright blue coloring, dark shapes, and yellow tails. <laughs> it can be they can be found here throughout the summer. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, I, I take it it's you I take it it's using the system clock then and showing different fish based on the time of year. That that's neat. Yeah so, yeah, so I, I know I mentioned, uh, yeah, so I, I know I mentioned a couple, a couple of minutes ago that like, uh, that, that, like, oh, Dragon Quest IV DS is my, uh, stuck in the desert game. <laughs> it's like, it's like, no, genuinely, like, like, we're on a family vacation, uh, uh, the rental car broke down and we were just like and we were just like waiting to waiting to be to, waiting to waiting like for like several a couple of hours for a tow truck to come and it's like okay I'm just gonna sit in here and play this and try not to think about everything else that's going on <laughs> so yeah that's that hey look oh it's a penguin what a cutie huh I think he came to say hi! 
Oh, fellow is an African penguin, native to the southern coast of Africa. There are a few that hang out around Noolai too. Hang on, I I need to pet you. It's important. Get the animals to increase your level of familiarity. Height roughly two feet. The birds have spindle shaped bodies and long feathers. Their color coloring is mostly black and white, but with a more complicated pattern than seen on other penguins. The area on the eyes is pink because of a small flap of exposed skin. Aww. Oh, they're so cute. It's like he's saying, hold on, he's saying... I like you, I'm gonna come back with all my friends. What? Oh, come on, don't stare at me like that. <laughs> yes, I know what animals are saying. I've been studying marine biology my whole life. All it takes is a lot of careful observation and experience. Just look at your faces, and then... Oh, I don't know, I guess it's as much intuition as anything else. <laughs> it's like, sure, this is a video game, so I'll take that explanation. <laughs> so, yeah, let's talk about something else. Did I, did I tell you I'm reading a marine biology encyclopedia? I thought maybe you'd like to help out with it. The more you can learn, the better the encyclopedia will be. Okay, so I need to pet all the fish, and then I can find out about all the fish, and then they can- and then it can go on this encyclopedia for the sake of completion. The important thing is that I get to pet things! <laughs> it's like, this is what y'all tuned in for, right? for me to pet things and talk about petting things because because uh, that, that's kind of my thing oh geez I, I forgot something else i think that penguin distracted me mm, that was some nice work that was some nice work down there but there's a lot of ocean to cover outside the lagoon right look it's okay, I can tell that you're one of these types with uh, ambition, so you're gonna get tired of the lagoon before too long. Don't worry, you can take the Gabbiano if you want, just sail it to a new area and start diving from there. Here, I, here, I made an extra key for you. <laughs> it's like, oh, neat. Okay, I'm gonna take a nap, so- oh wait, I almost forgot about that key. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure that's not operating anymore, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I did not know this ever had multiplayer, though. Can I pet the other players? Um... Maybe not in maybe not in the game, but maybe not in the game. But if but if I get them in the same room, then nothing can stop me. <laughs> well, I mean, unless they don't consent to being pet. Important detail that. That was this guy again. <clears throat> this is Alfred Thorman again. I forget what I forget what voice I gave this guy, so whatever, let's just roll with it. I take it that things went well off with your survey of the Coral Coast. Good job. Many unexplored areas in the Manoa Lai Sea, so these kinds of surveys help considerably. In fact, I wanted to mention a spot to the south known as Blue Holes. Rare items have been known to drift into the area, so if you have time, you might want to take a look. It's like, okay, and we're not just gonna like collect these and mine these and sell them for money or anything. 
It's like, it's like, it's like really though, I assume they're just like decorative stuff for the ship. <laughs> this newsletter provides information on the beautiful diving locations around Manoa Lai. Today's location, the lagoon. The true lagoon, the shallow pool off the west coast of Manoa Lai Island joins the sea by a narrow channel. The lagoons are often closed behind the barrier reefs. This one's actually behind the sandbar. Shake your dive thing. You'll find a wide variety of plant and marine life in this colorful lagoon. In this colorful lagoon, it's like diving into your very own aquatic disco. That's all for now. Just stay safe and respect the sea. <laughs> and the, and we've also got one on uh. The Coral Forest, which, you know, maybe I'll head there next. Find schools of small tropical fish in the Coral Forest, but some plucky visitors have a business for much bigger sea life. Like, okay, let, let's go there and see what we see. Like, okay, there's a curl for us since I don't think we've really been there yet. I was say, is there anything on this ship I, I, I can interact with that I haven't interacted with yet? I'm just curious. Okay, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh well. I, I can always put the penguin again. Aww. Good penguin. I'm gonna be honest, I did have some backup games planned just to, just in case I get tired of this one, like... <laughs> uh, uh, we shall see. <laughs> it's like, I just wanted a, I just wanted a nice, co nice cozy game to play, cause, uh... Yeah, y'all y'all might have noticed I haven't streamed much in the in the last couple of weeks and uh and and, and I'm and I'm gonna be honest. It, it's 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 most it's it it's it's just like just like no my my mental health uh, these last couple of weeks has has, has been kinda of rough and uh and I really did not, and I really did not feel up to feel up to like putting on a stream. And it's like, it's like okay, I'm I'm feeling a little bit better now, so I wanted to get back into that. But but also but also no, I just wanted something nice and nice and relaxing and cozy. So. <sighs> Emperor Angelfish. Emperor Angelfish have narrow elliptical bodies with long dorsal fins. Extremely colorful bodies are a combination of blues, <laughs> blacks, and yellows with occasional hints of orange. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> mm, glad you think so. Okay. Okay. Anything I anything here? Anything here? I haven't pet enough to know the name of yet. I think I, I, think I have that one. Uh. Here I know I have that one. I 
gonna say I, I was gonna say actually let me head over in uh let me head over in this direction because I don't think I've been very far in this direction yet. Hang on, what's that X on the map? Was am I supposed to go there for something? It's like I I, I genuinely don't remember. I've pet you. I need new fish to pet. I need newer, bigger fish to pet. I want to pet that dolphin I saw earlier. I've put the bicolor parrot fish already. Uh... Oh, come on, there's got to be something new here. <laughs> Okay, let me actually just go and swim towards that X because I'm curious what's there. Like this way, more or less, I believe. Yep. That sh that that should point me right towards it. It's like, oh, probably this cave down here. Neat. We're going to Blunken, or maybe not. Okay, I, I guess that's, there's that blue holes place where it has to check out. It's like, oh, okay, I see why it's called that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. There's supposed to be some kind of precious object here. Why don't we try looking for it? It's like, oh, okay, but okay, but more importantly, are there new fish to pet? Something there. Let's get closer and check it out. It's like, okay, but also I want to, also I want to pet new fish. Who's a good fish? You're a good fish. Come on, if I, if I pet you enough, will you tell me your name, please? It worked! <laughs> Tailfin tanks have wide elliptical bodies with large dor dorsal nanal fins slightly drab. They're mostly white, with the exception of vertical black lines that run the length of their bodies. These fish are commonly seen in, seen in Manoa Lai all year. Look at that! It's how you find small fish or items that you m might miss. Try interacting with the stuff here. I'm, it's like I'm trying, but there doesn't seem to be anything to interact with here. Oh, let's check out some of the table cooler. That's the big flat stuff. 
Um... It's like, oh, I can zoom in. Okay. What's the game asking me to do exactly? I can't tell. It's like, oh, I should probably check out that one. The one that's glinting! Dolphin metal. I mean, I also, I mean, I pet it first, but I got it. Also, there's a fish that needs a petting. Who's a good fish? You're a good fish. You found a rare object. Oh, it's a dolphin! It's a dolphin! The prankster dolphin from the crow forest? It's back in pog form! Oh, look at him. He's so curious about you. Why don't you try interacting with him? Come on, take a chance. Pet the dolphin! Also, Dolphins in game just reminds me of EcoQuest, the old, like, point, the old, like, 90s, like, ecological theme point and click adventure. <laughs> you vanished. I think you scared him away. No! I didn't get to pet him! Alas! Oh, such cruel fate! He's heading towards the lagoon. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so at this point, my I, I, I have a simple goal. I have a specific goal to, for the stream. It's like realistically, I don't know how it's gonna, how long it's realistically. I don't know if I'll get to this by the end of the stream or not, but. But my goal, my goal, my goal is to now pet that dolphin! We are going to pet that dolphin, friends! Like, okay, that's a bit more of the map unlocked. Neat. You can find stuff in the ocean, I'll put in your foot locker. We can find everything in one convenient place. If we learn anything about the items, we can check that too. Funny, most find to the local museum. They love us there. It's like, okay, good, it goes to the local museum and not one, like, halfway across the world, like, in the UK or something. <laughs> like, I have new, new email. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll check it in a sec. Metal engraved with a dolphin and a laurel leaf. It bears the inscription, 16th annual drift Drift Dive Champion! <laughs> it's, like, it's like, okay, but now I'm just imagining drifting, like, a car drifting, and it's like... 
It's like, how do you do that with diving? H how does that work? And I know the actual answer is that's not what that means at all, but shh, don't tell me that. Today's location, blue holes. Holy cow. Blue holes is a massive rock formation housing many small caves. Divers are treated to views like no other as beams of light pour in from, from openings overhead. At one time, this formation was above ground, but rising oceans and erosion gradually created the formation we enjoy today. Due to complex tidal flows, items will sometimes drift into blue holes, including some truly rare objects. That's all for now. <laughs> request officer Aubrey Thorman. Hi there, my name's Aubrey Thorman. I handle all the requests for diving guides in the region. And I have a request for you to act as a diving guide. Plants is will gain and is a pretty valuable client, so treat him really nicely, okay? It's like he wants to dive in the coral forest. There's no fixed date, but let us know when you have time, okay? Thanks. It's like it's like I can do that! But the more the more important thing is we we need to go after that dolphin so we can pet that heckin' dolphin! <laughs> It's like if we were emulating this, we could pet a dolphin in dolphin. Dolphin looks like it was headed for the lagoon. It's like, okay, do we know where the lagoon is, though? <laughs> it's gonna be pretty. That's gonna be pretty important if we're uh, if we're gonna chase after the dolphin. Okay, we are definitely heading towards the lagoon then. And let's dive in. <laughs> it's like now if, if anyone's curious, I'm just I'm just playing this on my Wii U. Which, uh, these days I, I mostly just treat as a Wii that conveniently has HDMI output. <laughs> like, I can't think of the- I can't think of the last time I used it for anything else. I'm gonna say, does it say where we're going on the map? It's like, okay, so, sort of? We to the center of the lagoon there, so... There you are! Oh, that dolphin! I think he's stuck in the lagoon. I could... Dolphins use a kind of so sonar card echolocation to navigate. Works kind of like a radar there, showing them signals and then getting them back, but shallow, wa shallow water like this can cause problems. I have trouble figuring out where they are. It's like everything's bouncing right back at them. The worst case scenario, they can become stranded. No, I'm worried. We have to help him. Yeah, yeah, we have to pet him. And then help him get out of the lagoon. But you know, petting first, that's the priority here. Hey, I think he's following you. Let's lead him to the coral forest. Okay, but I can pet him, yes? Yes! We're petting the dolphin! We got there sooner than I thought. I thought the game was gonna drag this out for a little longer. Who's a good dolphin? Who's a good dolphin? You are, yes you are. Hmm. 
Towards okay, so, okay, so back to the uh, west there. <laughs> you know, you can technically get a pet fresh water ray, and they're surprisingly petable. I feel like you might have mentioned that before, but you know, that's great to know. <laughs> also, hi, Fell. Hope you're doing well tonight. We did it! He escaped the lagoon! And I get- Think that dolphin likes you! I hope so- I hope so after all the- after all the pets I gave him! <laughs> no surprise, not after- not after I helped him out. You can just stop at your leisure now. Come back when you get tired. Okay, but the dolphin though. It's like I've fed you. A, it's like I've fed you a bunch, but I have, but I haven't gotten, but I haven't gotten dolphin facts from the game yet. I mean, I guess technically I have, but I, but I haven't gotten the dolphin facts that are under there. It's like, am I gonna be follow following this dolphin like over the course of the game? I is that how this is gonna go? <laughs> can't can't exactly say I mind though. <laughs> uh... It's like nice song. Hope it doesn't get me copyright struck. Welcome back. That was pretty amazing, by the way. I've never seen a wild dolphin act so f so friendly. Not even towards me. Not that I'm jealous or anything. Uh, oh, never mind. Anyway, the people of Plugo love dolphins. Long ago, they thought they were holy messengers of a sort. Trust you now, so make sure you're nice. Couldn't work with someone who didn't respect animal life. Oh yeah, here, take this. Does the wall? Okay, important question. Does the underwater whistle just summon the dolphins so I can pet them? I ass I assume I assume that's not how it works, but I had to ask. <laughs> Underwater whistle, what? You've never seen one before? You can use it to communicate with marine animals. Yeah, these are all the rage with the hip young marine biologist crowd. <laughs> cool thing is that if it sounds the same above or below water, try using it to signal dolphins! That's actually what it's for! I was joking! I wasn't expecting that to actually be the thing! Use the stern to access the training point where you can interact with your partner. Neat. I was gonna say, also, I forget exactly what the stern is, but <laughs> this works. Aww. It actually worked. I thought for sure it was Boogus. Great. Why don't you, why don't you give your partner a name? Wait, right, let me give you some name ideas. I'm good at this. Misa, what do you think? Don't like it? Well, then what kind of name did you have in mind? Oh, damn it. Not an unexpected naming screen. 
Elf, I'm gonna be stuck here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, I appreciate you all actually throwing in suggestions. <laughs> Sure, we'll go with Dolph Lundgren, cause why not? I mean, can, can anyone work at what I was asking for the name of my partner and two thirds of my partners are kitties? <laughs> That's really good, but while you're at it, how about teaching your partner a trick? Huh? What point did it? times, once your partner's mouth or fin and press A. Release it, then press again while moving the Wii remote in the direction. Keeping your partner directions, okay, but... And yep. There's a hand sign. Release A and then shake the controller to give it a go again. Party will perform each time you give a sign. Oops. Like, no, 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 we need to do more training. Even if I haven't at all figured out how this works yet. some more and you know I'm not gonna say no is that working We've seen it. We've seen an hour of this, and it's like, it's like I'm, I'm, it's like I'm trying to decide if I want to keep playing this or if I want to try to, or if I want to try to switch to something else. And if I switch to something, if I switch to something else, whether I want to switch to, switch to another aquatic theme game or just like an, an, another completely unrelated, relaxing kind of game, I was curious about. It's like I could kind of go, I could kind of go either way. Rest until morning. Yes. Wait, there is a thing I could do. Do I want to do the thing? Alfred Thurman. During this time of year, Japanese bullhead sharks gathering Manoa Lai coastal waters to spawn. Data indicates that spawning is now occurring around the G5 area of your map. Perhaps you should sail over and take a look for yourself. I'm sure it'll prove to be fascinating. Wait, we can 
does that mean we can pet a shark? A am I going to go pet a shark? It's like, oh, okay, I, I guess there's more, tra more, more uh, dolphin training to do. So I have, since I don't really... <laughs> Like, okay, okay, I, I, I clearly missed something important about how this is supposed to work. Because I don't mind just petting the dolphin like this, but I don't think this is correct. You know what? Yeah, let's head over to G5 and pet a shark. No, I'm just gonna let this little animation play out because uh, I hadn't. Like I, it's like I've been skipping it the entire time, so... Okay. Oh, time is grayed out. Okay, I guess I can't dive here until, until I've gone back. Until until I've like gone gone back to somewhere I already was and then like swim all the way over here, which, which I could, but it's a but it's a little bit far. You know, I'm gonna save and... Actually, hold, actually, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check something. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so I own a physical copy of this game and I, and I just, I, I just wanted to like pull out, the, pull out the manual and, and see if, and see if you could tell me what I was doing, what I was doing wrong. <laughs> Page 15. All right, pet, touch, and grab are different moves. I forgot, I should, think I just need to try each one on the dolphin. So let me try that.
Okay, so... Commands point, 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 point to the mouth or fin, press A, then do a pet touch or grab. Hey, ghosts on your partners are from sim simply shake the Wii remote. Okay, like this. <laughs> Oh, it's really good. Oh, wait, he's trying to say something. That all you got, pal? Hey, don't look at me. I'm just a translator. Hey, kind of fun, right? When you're directing your partner like this, it's a great experience. The more you practice, the closer you two will get. If you do all your partner's tricks will evolve and change, but that's really up to you. Keep training. Press the button to just switch camera angles while you watch your dolphin do cool backflips. <laughs> hey, you got a haircut. Did you notice? Anyway, have you tried diving with your dolphin? Like, yeah, let's do that. So it's like, it's like I, I probably probably would have been neat to play this in multiplayer back in the day. Come to think of it. <laughs> Yeah, the, yeah the, the copy I'm playing is like a second-hand copy I got like two or three years ago just uh, from was getting getting rid of some old games that I was like, oh, hey, that one looks neat. So, oh, you went diving with your partner. You can call your partner with an underwater whistle. Or if familiar if you are, the quicker you'll respond. It's like, oh, okay, that's the sound of the un of the whistle. Okay, but now, now I kind of want to make a beeline for, uh... I want to see if I can make a beeline for G5 down there, so I can so I can see if I can pet a shark. It's like I really want to pet a shark too. <laughs> it's like our shark smooth, and it's strictly physical. So in a strictly physical sense, no. And in and, and, and the dating sense, absolutely. <laughs> it's like no, no, no. I, I'm just being silly. I don't really, I don't really know any shark girls. <laughs> So I think I think I'm I think I want to be headed in. Uh, oh no! Yeah, over, over that way more. Over this way more or less. Except oh that right right that's a wall and I have to go around. I, 
I, I really want to go. I really want to go and go and pet a shark. <laughs> Look, petting the petting the dolphin was my old goal for this stream, but I I got that too quickly. I'm hoping it's just not all walls in this direction. Okay, it's all walls in that direction. Dang. Pretty rude of walls, TBH. It's like, I get that I'm probably not supposed to make my way over all the way over there all at once, but heck it, I want to make my way over there all at once. Nobody can stop me. <laughs> it's like, okay, no, now I'm way off course. I definitely want to be going like the complete, complete opposite direction. The directions I want to be going are definitely towards the south and towards the west, but you know, but you know, I'll take I I'll take either. It's like, okay, how do I get past here? Have I pet you yet? I have not pet you yet! I'm going to pet you because you're a good fish- because you're a good fish who deserve pet- who deserves pets! Come on! Oh, it's Bower Bower's pirate fish. These colorful fish have narrow spindle-shaped bodies and round heads. Their bright green bodies and orange eyes are some of the most recognizable in the ocean. Aww. Okay, I'm just way over in this general direction. If I feel if I feel like I'm making I'm making no progress toward, towards towards that super cool shark in the next couple of minutes, I'm probably gonna switch to another game. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Like oh, did I, did I accidentally unlock a, a first person view somehow? I I don't exactly mind. Just. Not sure how I did that. It's like, yeah, can I go south from here? And it's like, okay, not directly. There's probably a way south, but I don't know what it is. Oh, okay, it's the it's the two button that 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 turns first person mode on and off. Probably hit, probably hit that by accident while I was trying to look at the map. To uh, see where I was going. Mom, why, why would you tell me about the sharks now if they're so far away? 
It seems pretty rude to tease me like that, honestly. <laughs> So we're gonna go back to the boat, then and then we're gonna head over to Blue Holes and then see if we can get out to the rest of the and then see if we can get out to the rest of the ocean from there. So it could be good to do a little more exploring at least. This is bad. This is really, really bad. So, what's up? Well, I don't sync up on me like that. No, what's wrong? Oh, I don't know. I've got a problem. See, the aquarium on the main line is opening. And they asked me to, to help coordinate the main text. So like, like, you know, what fish, fish to put in there. But doing that means I have to get inside the tank and I can't swim. I gotta find someone who knows about the ocean. Surely not this person you have right in front of you who keeps diving into the ocean and learning more and more about it. That would be ridiculous. An extensive diving experience. Hmm. Gosh, I wonder where you are going to find someone like that. I have no idea. So let's let's go back in and let's see if we can uh, explore a little more this way. No, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Uh, blub blub. Blub blub. Blub blub. <laughs> Oh, just put us somewhere outside of blue holes. Which this might be a dead end except for the cool stuff inside it, I don't know. Yeah, it seems that way, because that's I think that's the way I came in and it's like, No, I think no wait, this is the way I came in. What's in the other direction then? Actually, no, I think I want to be, I think I want to be like through the other side of the cave from here. So I'm closer towards where I want to go. Okay, so, oh, oh did I pet these yet? Did, did, I, did I pet these yet? I did, okay, okay. <laughs> Alright, so if I head directly south coming out of here, then... Yeah, I'm in, I'm in a new... I'm in a new part of the map. 
gonna be new fish to pet yeah and, and you know learn about of course You, you you know the, you know this is this is stuff this is stuff we're definitely down here for the educational experience and not just because we like petting things that would be ridiculous. Oh, triggerfish have narrow elliptical bodies with complex color patterns. Their backs are covered in a yellow mesh pattern, but it's the large white spots on their bellies that usually catch the eye. Those have bright bright yellow lines running across their eyes and mouth. These fish can be found year round. Over here, and unfortunately, that also seems to be dead end. But you know, uh, I can go down here, and we'll be exploring more of the map. And is that another new fish I see? It is. It, it is another. It is another new fish who, who needs ha who needs pets. Oh, it's a cloudy cat shark. Not exactly the shark I was going after, but you know, still. It's also kitty, apparently. Kitty, 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 kitty! These fish have long, long, narrow bodies, broad heads, and short snouts. Generally, generally brown, fine white spots can be seen, seen year-round in the southeastern waters of Manoa-Lai. Oh, an another shiny thing? Another shiny thing. Yeah, I, I just need to, uh... Push in the camera just right. Bronze mirror fragment. Okay, hopefully there are more of those. Okay, okay, unfortunately it looks like this is also a dead end and Okay, okay, I, I'm I'm gonna be completely honest. Like, like this game's nice and relaxing, but I but I have the I have the feeling I'm getting kind like it's getting kind of tired. So I, I'm so I'm gonna save and then I'm just and, the, and then I'm just gonna like and then I'm just gonna like go off go off script a bit and and see what other things I uh, gave myself to poke at. <laughs> It's like I, 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 cause like I insult like a hand, a handful of, uh, of a nautical themed wear games too. Yeah, Catherine, you're an idiot. What am I talking about? I'm talking about the aquarium. Person who knows about the ocean with extensive diving experience. That's you. Yeah, like I was just saying. <laughs> Be perfect. What do you think? Aquarium is, uh, is on Kaia on the, on the mainland. Put on, I put it on the map in the cabin unless, in case you're interested, you can just sail the Gabbiano right there. So when you're ready, just grab the steering wheel and go. It's like, it's like okay, yeah, I, I definitely. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we're let's, let's let's go visit the aquarium before we end this. Now that that's a thing we can do. Mm -hmm. 
aquarium. Mankind's creativity enhances the splendors of nature in a microcosm all can enjoy. <laughs> It's like, okay, it's a it's an underwater aquarium. Trans complete. Please select the creature. You can design the contents of the tank. You almost forgot. You can't learn about creatures by interacting with them in the aquarium. You can only do that in the wild, okay? Oh, okay. So it's just it's just a place where I can just just put uh put whatever fish I come ac across. And then I can, and then I can just come here and, and and look and look at the and look at the fish I picked. It's like okay, it's like okay, okay, that's a neat little feature. So, neat. so so let me save and then uh, I'll, I'll see what else I have to poke at on here. Like this seems nice and relaxing. I'm definitely gonna come back to this again. Just don't know, don't know if it'll be on stream or not. Yep. So. Uh... Yeah, you know, yeah, you know what? I didn't prepare. I didn't prepare game info for this, so yeah, just we're going off the rails now. Uh. <laughs> so we're just so this way we're just gonna look a f look at a few nautical themed we were games, cause why the heck not? So this one's My Aquarium by, uh, pre-Konami buyout Hudson Soft. My Aquarium lets you keep, allows you to keep more than 40 kinds of fresh and salt water fish and jellyfish all in one aquarium. I mean, six, six different aquariums using the icons on the top of their menu. Create one in your own style. You can also send a friend in an aquarium. Or watch fish dance on an aquarium special date. I'm sorry, what? Let's play fish. Place fish and objects in six aquariums for your enjoyment. <laughs> Hit the fish. Ah. Uh... Absolutely, let me absolutely let me just see if I can zoom in on them a bit. Especially if you select Aqua Museum on that day, they'll perform a special dance.
You know, because I selected that. Oh, today is a special day. It's like... Actually, you know what? No, no. Let, let, let's do things in the proper order here. Uh... Oh, some good fish. You're a good fish, and 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 you're a good fish. And you're a good fish over there in the background! Sorry I didn't see you at first! Oh, and you're a good fish too! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Such good fish in this aquarium! Alright, let's, let's, let's view the fish dance. Just the one came out for this, huh? Oh, I guess they're going species by species. That makes sense. Just like getting this and then just and then just leaving it on as a screensaver or something. <laughs> Seems kind of nice for that. But uh, now I was gonna say there there's there's not exactly a whole lot to this one. I I can feed the fish. If you can hear that or not, but uh, the weird mode is playing is is playing fish food noises. Um, why don't we throw in some plant food too? You, you know, for the plants that we definitely have in here. Aquarium. Let's let's throw in some fish. Okay, I'm I'm dying to know how you how you unlock the extra fish. Let's just let's just let's just select some fish. So sure that one. Uh, I'm not sure those are neat. Ooh, better fish. I mean, they're pretty good fish, but. What decor options do we have? Cause that's fish, but... Red sand, white sand... Gravel and... Let's just add some. Let's just add some stuff to our aquarium, shall we? Let's add a sea anemone. That it says frog object, so I assume that's like a fake frog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
It's like, can, 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 I, can I pet the frog object? Can I pet the frog object? It's like okay, let, let's let, let, let's let's watch another fish dance. <laughs> Whee! Zoom zoom. <laughs> okay, you're kind of just flailing around awkwardly. Um... Screensaver. <laughs> like I imagine this would have been worth it for a cup for a, like a couple of dollars. I have no I, I have no idea what it actually retailed for or sold for. <laughs> see here, uh It's like, okay, I have no idea what this is, but it's called Family Pirate Party. <laughs> I, I, I have a sneaking suspicion this might just be a Mario Party clone, but uh, we shall see. <laughs> okay, so one human, which I guess can be the Wii, and one robot. <laughs> yep, that's that looks good. Like, oh, oh, wait, do I have, do I have to choose? Do I have to choose who the computer is too? <laughs> yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just leaving that as a default and uh, not commenting on it. It's like I wasn't expecting her to say jiggle to have jiggle physics, but I guess it kind of makes sense. <laughs> You can you can attack your opponents. Yeah, okay, I was saying Mario Party clone, but like are there even mini games in here? I I I I'm really curious now. <laughs> Was the Wii always this wobbly? Uh... Like, I'm not sure it was always like 480p at most. It's like, okay, I'm not sure what I was expecting when I when I just picked up a bunch of random the the Wiimote. Uh, 
Oh uh, no, it's just, I, I, I think it, I think it's just the particular setup I'm using. It's just a side effect of how I set, have it set up because the Wii mode is like, I don't know, like three feet, I guess, from the center bar, and it's probably not not generally supposed to be used that close. Ah. Uh... This is kind of Mario Party without the mini games. to show or if the or if this should if or if this should just be how the stream goes out for the night. One more, because because there because there's one on here that I know is gonna be kind of jank. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like I don't get to save games like that for uh, for jank science theater anymore. So yeah, let's just let's just end on a uh, Kokoto fishing master, cause. Oh, 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 this, oh, this, this is, this is like a... Oh, oh, this one actually uses a nunchuck. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Kokoto was like, was like this weird mascot of very low budget games in like the UK. Or in Europe, so... <laughs> It's like, yeah, I know this is probably going to be kind of jank. <laughs> a very long time ago, in a faraway country, Geo the Fish King reigned over a world he loved. One day he was chased out of the kingdom by his son, the wicked Zaron, who wanted to take his place. Geo took refuge on the, in the Abyss Kingdom where he decided to take a big long nap. Magical kettle. <laughs> oh, ke magical kettle. Okay. I created four little devils. Appeared in all was well for several hundred years. <laughs> it's, a, it's like yeah, I I I don't know why. It's like, this is actually going to be a pretty basic fishing game, so I, I, I don't know why the kind of elaborate intro, but sure, question mark. <laughs> Go see the Hermit Turtle, he knows lots of secrets. Okay, where the heck is this turtle? I just see a map surrounded by a bunch of orbs and I don't know what the orbs and the orb colors mean. I'm 
I make a casting gesture with the ruling remote and let go of value the fast he casts the further. <laughs> yep, yep. Like, yeah, I caught, I caught some of that. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. It's like I say that, but if I just wanted to look at fish, I, I could just I could just go back to uh. I could just go back to endless ocean. Like again, the game's telling me to see all these people, but it's giving but it's giving me no hecking indication of where any of these are. Like okay, there's somebody. Like, okay, you're just... <laughs> okay, you have to save- you have to save the fact that I have to talk- that I talked to that NPC and didn't have the item they wanted for some reason. Like, uh, okay. times to, to make that work. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Like, oh, okay, you have to, you have to actually rotate the nunchuck for that move, for that motion. Like, I don't, and I don't mean the, the stick on the nunchuck, I mean the actual nunchuck, like that. Like, okay, that's awkward. the cute fish are back in endless ocean. <laughs> it's like all we have are these kind of gross and ugly fish. And I'm not even catching any of those. I, I mean, they're hanging out right at the surface and I'm all the way down here. How, how are they supposed to notice me like this? Fish, ugly fish, ugly fish. Here, ugly fish, ugly fish, ugly fish. Are you know non ugly fish if any exists in this game? Which I have my doubts. <laughs> yeah, these games have uh, an art style to them. <laughs> 
It's like, okay, there seems to be more fish around here and they're not all at the top, but... Yeah, this is uh, about about what I was expecting, honestly. Like in terms of uh, gameplay, so. <laughs> yeah, maybe I just need to be using different bait. I, I think I actually do have a few baits I can switch between, so. else before I, I want to actually catch a fish in this game before I end the stream come on okay I, I can't tell exactly what motion to, it is it's expecting me to do there but an attempt was made It's like, let me give it another attempt. <laughs> like, I can't tell if I'm supposed to be pushing something, if I'm supposed to be waggling so in some specific fashion. I, I kind of just skipped through half of the tutorial text, which was probably a bad idea. I'm trying to do like this with the Wiimote, but I don't think it's quite right. Like, at least there's a fish here that bites super easily so I can get a lot of practice. It's like, no, I should probably just call the stream by now because uh, cause this has been more than enough filler content, but uh, I, I want to catch a fish now. I'm kind of dying to know what the gesture it's expecting me to make is. Because <laughs> uh, it's showing the Wii Remote and it's like the icon seems to be suggesting the sort of gesture I'm doing, but it's not taking it. <laughs> but, uh... I don't think I'm gonna get it, so this, so this might just be a good place to to stop the stream for the night. <laughs> but, you know, an attempt was made, an experience was had. Uh, uh, Endless Ocean, actually good game. I'm gonna come back to that at some point. Again, may or may not be on stream. Might be like a cozy Discord stream thing or something. But I wanna, I, you know, you know, for sure, gonna play more of that one at least. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm just kind of I'm just kind of bab babbling again, and uh, uh, yeah, thank you for watching, y'all. It was it was nice to do this again. And uh, yeah, let me.
figure out where I'm gonna send y'all over to because there are a lot of people streaming tonight. Okay, I, I, I think I have a raid target because, uh... This, uh, Sasquatchless is doing PAL exclusive PS2 games, and, uh... That's exactly the same kind of jank as the, as the game we were just playing, so I'm gonna send y'all over there. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, that's gonna be it for- that's gonna be it for me tonight. Um... I'm not sure whether or not I'll stream tomorrow. I'm just going to play that by ear based on how I'm feeling. But yeah, yeah, I'm glad to be streaming again and I'll see you all again soon. Till then, please take care of yourselves. Bye bye.